Hi there and welcome to tutorial number five of our ball valve tutorial here in Fusion 360. So, so far you should have a model that looks something like this. We've got the ball, we've got the lever, um, we've got the stem. And what we're going to be doing now is modeling the final part, which is going to be um, here. And basically the, uh, the seal and the bushing and the nut. So, uh, to begin with this, I'm going to start with a sketch on this surface here. We'll hide the lever, the washer, and the nut. So we're going to create a circle, which is going to come out, uh, say, around 35. And then we have another circle which is going to come out 25. Then we have another circle comes out 19, which is the thickness of the stem. Uh, one last thing. Go back and edit that sketch. Because we are only doing half because the other half is copied. We need a horizontal line. Okay, so um, let's hide this sleeve as well. We're going to extrude, starting with this piece. And that's going to come up, say, 25. Whoops, that was cut when he's a join 25 and join okay and next if we show that sketch again we want to pull up this part I create a new component. Oops. Also, we need to do both sides of this one. Sorry. Be a new component. That's going to be our um, seal. Now, if we show the other side of our body, see those match up. Uh, so now the next part we're going to have above that will be um, we got the seal. We're now going to have a bushing, and there'll be a nut on top of that. So that's our seal, stem seal. Next part will be the stem bushing. So for that, we select both sides, it's going to come up 2 millimeters. it's going to be offset from the plane, 23. This will be a new component. So this is our stem bushing. We'll change the material appearance so we can see the difference between these. So this part is going to be nylon and this part will be stainless. We can hide our sketch and put the two sides of our body back. Um, so all that remains now is the nut that's going to hold all this in place. So put everything else back. 
we're going to need to thread this piece here. It will be modelled but it will not be full threaded. If we hide our lever, oops, and the lever washer. Okay. So this will be threaded all the way up to the top of there. But our lower thread is not going to go all the way. So this just needs to come to this surface here, there. Okay, so now we have a thread on there. If we were to hide our stem seal and stem bushing, so we have a thread there. Finally, going to create the nut that goes on here. It's going to be our last piece. Polygon. Inscribed polygon. Come all the way out to there. Finish this sketch. Hide the stem. We should cut it to be level with this top edge here. It's going to be a new component. Bring that down. Point seven, eight, nine, minus one. cut. So we have to thread. So if we hide the stem, we'll see there's now thread inside there. And finally we'll just uh, this before we do the combine extrude this so it matches this face and then we'll cut it now we will around all these edges and we'll set our materials so um this is the uh, stem nut. So the stem nut is going to be stem.
stainless steel. Hello sketches. And these are parts here. So the washer and the nut. These are also going to be in stainless. Okay, so there we have now um, all of our parts. Also, actually, we'll leave these in brass. They're okay in brass. So we have the stem nut and the lever washer and the lever nut. We'll do all those in brass. Okay. There we go. So those are all of our parts. Um, we have body two. We see uh, basically kind of a, a cutaway here. And if you want to do an actual cutaway, um, the body there, we can go to inspect, uh, section analysis, like so. So there you can see all of our parts form our ball valve, how it all goes together. And in the next tutorial, um, we're just going to be animating this, turn this into a joint, rotating things around so that you can see exactly how this valve functions. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit like or subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. And you can download the project file down below in the description. Thanks very much.